What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are being joined by my husband Ruben. El Ruben. <laughs> He's joining me today because I thought it would be fun to tell you guys our first kiss story. We have been together officially four years as of tomorrow. So we met our freshman year at BYU. We both did a dance group at BYU. It's called Living Legends. It's a multicultural dance group that's um, at BYU. We started off as like acquaintances and then we became friends like over the course of like the full school year. But like it was no like love at first sight situation for us. He thought I was immature, which I was. <laughs> and I thought he was a know-it-all. So we started off as friends. There was like no romantic interest at all. Fast forward eight months to May. We went on tour with our group to Central America. We went to Guatemala, Nicaragua, and Honduras. And don't laugh at me. <laughs> While we were on tour, we got really close because we ended up spending a lot of time together because we were part of like the few people in the group who actually didn't speak Spanish. Which in retrospect was the opposite thing we should have done. Yes. <laughs> we definitely should have like paired with somebody who could like help translate for us, but instead we were like hey, you don't speak Spanish, I don't speak Spanish, let's go be lost together. It ended up working out really great for us. So we decided to develop feels, nothing happened. After tour, he served a mission for our church. We're members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So he served a mission for the church in Brazil for two years. And we talked, but it wasn't like... It was a handful of times in the whole two years, letters back and forth. Yeah. Nothing and, serious. Yeah, nothing serious, nothing romantic, nothing like that. It was just like friends. He gets back from his mission in the summer of 2015. 15. I keep wanting to say 2016. Anyhow, yes, 2015 he gets back from Brazil and like the first day he gets back we end up messaging a little bit back and forth on Facebook. But it was just like, hey, welcome home. And then as we're getting closer to school starting, I know he's coming back to BYU. I assume he's probably auditioning for Living Legends again, the dance group. Right before school starts, like a week or so I would say. Maybe Somewhere two weeks. Yeah, I just, I text you and we decided to go out for lunch. Because I would be staying a couple days with my sister. Before I moved into my own place, so I just said, hey, let's go out to lunch. We went out to lunch. I thought it was, might have been awkward, but it was just so easy. And mm -hmm. I remember <laughs> after I got, because my sister was in town visiting me when we went on this like lunch date thingy. And I got in the car right after and I was like, I want to marry him. I like him so much and I was so incredibly happy. Like I wish I had recorded after our first date because I was like so giddy and so smitten. So after that we hang out off and on, just like hanging out. Um, Super casual yeah. as friends. And then we go to this Labor Day party barbecue and then I end up driving her there because she makes a fuss about if I can still drive because I hadn't driven in two years because I was in Brazil. Valid point. We've been walking around Brazil for two years. So that was her plan to get me to drive her. So I drive her to the party, we come back, and then we just sit in her parking lot and just talk for a long time. Finally, I work up the nerve to ask her out yes. on like a Thursday. He was like, so what are you doing Thursday? And I was like, not really, but inside I was like, oh my gosh! And I tried to play it cool because I didn't want him to know just how excited I was. <laughs> so I asked her out on an official date and I had no idea what to do. I think I came up with the idea of a picnic a couple hours before I took her out. <laughs> I had no idea what to do. I was consulting with friends like, what the crap do I do? I had no idea what we were doing so they like picked me up and we drove around for a little bit because it was like supposed to be at a different we were supposed to have the picnic somewhere oh, else. Oh yeah, it was supposed to be a different place, but I couldn't find how to get there. Yeah. So I resorted to... Rock Canyon Park. That's what it was. Yeah. But I remember he like pulled out like the basket and he pulled out like, just think like picturesque like picnic with like the checkered blanket and everything. That was like our first date. So Wait, like, it wasn't as picturesque because it wasn't the che checkered blanket that you It was a checkered blanket. It was like a multicolored... No, I swear it no. was a checker blanket. It was like a multi A red and white checker blanket. Oh, no, that's... What? That is completely 
romanticized in your head. <laughs> no, I swear. Uh, no, I remember specifically. <laughs> it wasn't. I remember specifically. No, nope. it was checkerboard pattern, but it was like not a normal checkerboard pattern. It was like multicolored, like <sighs> greens and like pastel purple and yellow and. I swear it was red and white checkered. Nope. But then <laughs> I remember also pulling out like. Oh, you made some like, uh, had a friend make some sandwiches for us. Yes. And you're like, oh, really? You're like, yeah, my friend Jimmy John. And you're like, and, like, it took you a while. <laughs> it took me a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, I think it was when he pulled out the sandwiches. I was like, oh. <laughs> so we have dinner and we're eating and we're just talking and we start like, normal like normal, like a good Not amount yet, of distance. Like a, between us. Yeah, like a normal, respectful, like, friend distance between us. Yeah. And throughout the night, she I'm started sorry. scooting a lot and a lot closer. So we're talking, we're eating, and we're, like, watching the sunset, and as we are talking, there comes this point. <laughs> Where? Okay. Interject. <laughs> okay. It was definitely getting towards the end of the day. Sun started to set. This whole day, she's moving closer towards me. Like starting to play with my arm a little bit. I'm trying to give him like the signals like we're more than friends. I'm into you. So I'm like trying to touch his arm. And then like. the pause <laughs> comes up and what I think is the end of the day. Pause comes up, we're super close, she's playing with my arm. Those are the signs, right? <laughs> so I go in to try and kiss her. And I get close enough, she'll debate me and say that there was a longer pause and I was moving a lot slower than I actually was. But I will contest that it was a normal amount of time. I go in okay, and when wait, I get whoa. close... Well, it literally felt like... It really probably was a normal amount, but I have... That's what I'm saying. I have never, ever, ever in my life felt like something went as slow motion as this. It felt like... He contests, but it felt like he was like... Because <laughs> he it, was like arm coming up, everything to like go in for the kiss, but it felt so I contested so a lot of time. Okay. I thought you were just <laughs> And then right before I go in, she looks and says, what? So in my mind, <laughs> being two years, not thinking any sort of thing like this, <laughs> immediately goes into emergency mode. Abort, abort, like fight abort. or flight. You know he that. Flight. <laughs> you know that meme of like SpongeBob with the with his brain, like the, in his little people. Yeah, with the file cabinets and things are on fire and yes. people are rushing around. <laughs> yes. That's what my brain was like. <laughs> Look, searching for the abort button, <laughs> and I immediately pull away. First thing I can think of is some lame excuse to to leave. We <laughs> hop in the car and I take her home. I said it because it was like we had finished talking and he's getting like closer and there's the pause and we like make eye contact like literally probably half a second before he's about to like do the thing and kiss me but I felt like it was like a second too long because like I said I felt like it was happening in slow motion so I was like what? <laughs> And also disclaimer, it was our first date, yes, but we had multiple, multiple, like, long one-on-one -on -one conversations. Yeah, we had hung out a lot. It was our first official, official date, but we had been hanging out one-on-one. -on -one. Studying, just talking to each other for a long time. In my head, I was like, he just got back from his mission. It's like our first official date, and I just was not expecting him to be so bold. And then I ruined it. <laughs> so then from there, I doubt if the date even went well at all. Little did he know, I was like 100% percent, percent, percent smitten kitten. We Fast keep forward. hanging out. Then we go back to just like what we were before, just like hanging out and doing all these things. Yeah. And then it was like a week or two into the semester. We were super studious and we went to the library like a lot. And we would actually study. We wouldn't just go to like the library and be like those people talking. Like We were pretty good about... Actually studying. Yeah, doing the work. We had spent one night in the library. We left and it was like probably 9 or 10 o'clock at night. So it's, it's definitely dark at this point. And this is on 
September 21st. And he's walking me home and ever since our first date, he hasn't really like tried to kiss me again. I think I really, really spooked him by saying, what? Anyhow, so it's dark outside and we live on like, I live on the south end of campus, he lives on the west side of campus. So we live not super far, but just far enough. But he is such a gentleman. <laughs> He walks me home to my apartment, we're holding hands, we're being all flirty. We get to my apartment, we go inside for like a minute or two, and we're talking, saying goodnight, and then... I ask her if, essentially, what is happening between us? Yeah, he literally goes, so, what are we? Yes, that's and what I said. I automatically go into like defensive mode yes. oh you don't we don't have to put a label on anything blah, blah, blah. but i like you and blah, i'd like blah, to be your girlfriend but if you're not ready and da, 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 da. she just get, keeps going and going <laughs> and then at that point i'm like okay green light yeah because she <laughs> likes me i like her but she's still talking and talking trying, <laughs> trying to like i'm trying to not freak him out because you know some guys get really freaked out by like putting a label on the relationship then i go <laughs> into like rom-com mode and just go in for a kiss he literally shut me up with a kiss and then he pulls away you say good night and then i leave thinking immediately that, <laughs> thinking that that was the answer like okay we're good Thinking that that's like defining the relationship. In his mind, that made it official. Yeah. Officially official. I was not under the same impression as him. I was very confused. I was like, okay, wait, does that mean we're official? Does that not? I don't even remember what happened afterwards. So it had been like two weeks, like not super long, but I would say another two weeks. And then I was finally kind of like, so, remember when you asked me, like, what are we? We, we, we never resolved. resolved that. He was like, yes, we did. <laughs> Flash forward, we get married. <laughs> we concluded. Seduction. Yes, we concluded that we and were we in a relationship. No, no. <laughs> we never ever decided if we were a boyfriend and girlfriend, but we just got married and had a baby. <laughs> Exactly. He let me know. He was like, yeah, I think we were officially official when I kissed you on that date. That sealed the deal for me. And I was like, oh, well, I didn't get that same impression. It works out. <laughs> yes, it works out in the end. And we are married and happy we got some bubba's. I think our first date and first kiss story is so funny and so iconic. I hope you guys liked this video and kind of learning more about me and Ruben and our relationship. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe down below and make sure to hit your notification bell so you never miss when I upload a video. I'm going to be coming out with a lot more content. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!